Definitely. So uh, when you hung your pads up for the last time and the uh, trials and tribulations that come with the game of football, how have you applied those things to your personal life? Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing is you have to set goals in your life. You have to have something you want to do every day, have a passion, have have dreams, have goals, have be, you know, what are you going to accomplish today? You know, the, the, the hardest part, you don't have that camaraderie that you have every day that you're competing for a win, <laughs> a team. So, but what it is, is the work ethic that you put into your football that now you put, you got to put that into your family, put those into your relationships, put it, put that into the work business that, that we're in. So that was what I took from it. And, uh, but the moments of playing in front of 75, 80,000 people in stadiums and the clock ticking and the moments that you have, you miss those moments. You miss those moments of giving someone a high five. I miss those moments of third and eight. It's a critical play or making a, minute, a drive in a two minute situations. And you miss those moments, but, but knowing that you live with no regrets and that you try to achieve as much as you could at the time is, you know, I'm thankful for those opportunities. Definitely. Yeah, scrolling and looking back at your football journey, what are some of like the top five teammates that you've had in the NFL? Yeah, I, it's hard to call out everybody, but I mean, I think John Lynch and Jason Witten were two of the best leaders I was ever with, like just leaders of a team. You know, I was fortunate enough to play with Chris Carter and Randy Moss, John Randall, Randall McDaniel, Warren Sapp, and um, Derek Brooks and the list goes on of, of, of people, you know, but a couple of things I was able to achieve was I threw a, a touchdown pass to myself. I don't know if, you ever, if everybody remembers that <laughs> first, first quarterback to have ever done that and counted 12 points in fantasy football and threw Randy Moss's first touchdown pass. I threw Chris Carter's and Tim Brown's hundredth touchdown pass. So I was a part of some neat, neat kind of things like that. Yes, sir. So I'll, I'll lead, leave you on this question. Super Bowl champions last year for Tampa Bay. Do you think they'll repeat? Great question. Great question. I mean, the repeat champions have only happened seven times in the history of the NFL, 55, 56 years. Hard to do. Easy question, hard to do. You know, last year at one point they were seven and five, and they got hot and ran it out. Obviously, they got a lot of the guys back. They got a quarterback that did go back to back in 03 and 04. I think that was with uh, Tom Brady. Yes, sir. So, so hopefully they, they achieve it, but it's a, it's a long season. We won't know that answer till February. Definitely. Hey, you can't go against Brady. That man he's is a, he's a different character. He's a different he is, animal. He's a different, he's a different breed. He's been to, he's won seven Super Bowls. He's lost three, been to four other AFC championship games. Like, <laughs> He's always in the hunt, and that's the greatness of him. He's always there. He's, uh, he's, he changed the uh, culture down there in Tampa for sure. Definitely. Have you been able to touch, touch base with him and talk to him about that? Victory? No, I haven't. No, I, ha I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't talked to him. So I don't, we don't, I think with COVID and everything, and just, we really just don't know each other. But I've been a big fan of his for a long time.